Hello, I'm Sally. Welcome to our 15 minute tea break lessons. Today I'm talking about articles. I'm going to try to help you solve the problem of when to use a or an or when to use the. If I asked you, can you open a window? It means that there is more than one possibility for the window you can open. In other words, there's more than one window. Can you open a window? Can you open this one? Or this one? Or this one? Or this one? Or this one? A window? Any window? There's a choice and I don't mind which one you open. If I ask you, can you open the window? It means we both know which window. Maybe there's only one window and it's this one. Maybe we're in a room where there's one window. Can you open the window? That window there. There isn't any choice. If I say, I've got a car. There are many cars in the world. But I have one of them. But if I tell you I'm going to wash the car at the weekend, the car, I'm talking about the one that's mine. The car that I own. That particular car, that one. And the weekend, we need the when we're talking about weekends. There are other times, particularly when we use a or the. Here are some examples. We need a or an when we're talking about job titles, I'm a teacher or I'm an artist. Why is it an artist? I need to use an before letters which sound with, which start with vowel sounds. Vowels in English are a, e, I O U. But some other words start with sounds similar to vowel sounds. We can't say I'm a artist because it doesn't flow very nicely. An artist flows better, sounds better. We also need a uh or an when we're talking about one of something. We have a real problem. And with phrases like a lot of time, a long time, these are phrases you need to learn. We need the and we're talking about some times of the day, the morning, the afternoon, the evening. But for example, at night is different. You could talk about during the night, but at night, is when I go to sleep. The morning is when I eat breakfast. I watch television in the afternoon. We also need the when we're talking about the city center. So there are many cities and many centers. 
but usually I'm talking about my local city centre. You'll find the pharmacist in the city centre. Um, so the thing is obvious which one we mean. If I say to you, please turn off the light, I don't mean any light, some light anywhere. I mean this light, the one here. Close the door, this door, not any door. Sometimes we don't need an article at all. If, for example, we're talking about towns and cities, you can say, I'm from Boston, I'm from London. We don't need any article here at the front of the name of a city or town. Most countries don't need the or un in front of them. Lyon is in France. Helsinki is in Finland. London is in Britain. But if I talk about the United States, the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, the United Arab Emirates, these places are made of other places joined together. For example, the United Kingdom is made from England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. The United States contains many states. So with some countries, we need the. We don't need an article if we are using by bus, by car. How did you come to work today? By car. How do you go to the shops? On foot. I don't need any articles. We don't need articles with times and days, or with phrases like go to work, go home, be at home. I talk about most people. Try this exercise. This young man, we'll call him Salem, is 23 years old. He is an, um, what do you think he is? Let's choose from these words above. Which one of these fits in the right place? He's an, Engineer. He's an engineer. We need an because engineer starts with a vowel sound. And he lives with his family in a large city in. That's right. He lives with his family in Dubai, a large city in the United Arab Emirates. He works for an international company from Wednesday to Saturday. But at the weekend, the weekend, he spends his time playing golf. So we need the for weekend, but we don't need to say the golf, just golf. Did you get them right? See you next time for another short lesson. Bye-bye.